Today's podcast is brought to you by Howler Head Whiskey. You can check them out at howlerhead.com, a handcrafted award-winning 80-proof Kentucky Stray Bourbon. And listen, damn it, it's got the flavors of banana. You like MMA? You like Dana White? You like the UFC? Let's support them, baby. Get the bourbon. Get the Howler Head Whiskey, the only whiskey you will find at Fury Fighting Championships. Howlerheadwhiskey.com, howlerhead.com. Houston, Texas, make some noise because the time for talk is over. It's time to unleash the fury. It's been a busy week, man. Oh, man. Getting fights. We're getting a lot. Hey, we're getting. To, we're getting to drop some. Get ready to drop some cool shit for everybody, man. Some some new states. Listen, let me tell some you new something. New dates. Boom. Let's do it. Let's go. Wait. Until are these two assholes going to talk the whole time we're doing this? Wait over until I send you the four twenty one document. I'm excited. Oh God, I'm excited. Four twenty one. Twelve three was good. Then you thought one twenty one was good. Yeah, yeah. Wait till you see four twenty one. Twelve three is a distant memory now, man. And Rich will tweak it up a little bit. Add a couple fights in there, like That's that. We still need some space for, but like the t- the top five on the Howlerway division. Hey, shout out, Howlerway shout division out to, to fill uh, that card out. Shout out to UFC superstar Diego Lopez joining us on the live right now. Yeah. What up, Diego? Thanks, Diego thanks for Lopez, in, baby. Hey, this Keep weekend we can we can Fury Challenger Series. We're number eleven. No, remember when we went and met with Fight Pass and. We're like, hey, we're only gonna do four a year. <laughs> that was last year. Yeah, yeah you know. So yeah, we no. did ten last year. Thank you, Tetchy. Shout out. Hey, and hilarious, man. We walk in one of these ones where we didn't. There wasn't a lot of planning when it came to uh, the first couple of Challenger series. It was more of like we went out there to talk about something else, and then while we we're sitting there, we we're like, hey, we also got this idea. What do you guys think? And they were like, yep, badass. Do that. Do that. Yeah. So immediately. Yeah, so I mean, it it got approved at the table, uh, which is pretty rare. I mean, it doesn't happen a whole lot. And it was really just the blackjack table. Oh, I wish it was really just for us to the create massage something table. else for to keep our roster busy. That's a thousand percent ex- exactly what it's for. I mean, when our- you have so many guys on roster. Yeah, four or five deals. You gotta. We have to hold up to our end of the deal when four or five is twelve months. I, I sent the four or five deal out last night. And I had some dude hit me back, and he was like, man, this is a really big commitment. Can we just do two fights? <laughs> Somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, honestly, at, at, this, at this point now, too, If, if us, you want us to help build your brand, yeah, man, it's going to take that kind of commitment. I had an amateur just – I just told wow. Richard. I just yeah. had an amateur tell me, I got I, I to gotta defend my title. Your amateur belt? <laughs> for another organization. Yeah, hey, you know. We tried to, I tried to bring him on to Fury so he could get his feet wet before he decides he wants to pro debut. Yeah. Oh, man, I got to defend, defend my title before I make any other commitments. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, that's an honorable thing to think you should do. I guess. I guess the, so. one, the, one, yeah. the one that always gets me now is when I'll have a pro who'll say something like, uh, Hey, well, let's do a one fight deal, and if it goes well, then I'll come back. And <laughs> well, honestly, you know, like in the beginning, hey. when, when we, uh, you know, yeah. three years ago, fourteen years ago for Eric, like, yeah, man, it, it was because you really just started doing four or five deals four years ago, three years ago, uh, right? Before yeah, yeah, right around fight you. pass, it was, it right was around the fight really pass deal. Hard to do them when Mick was running Legacy. Yeah, well, he had everybody under contract. Well, I want to, I want to say the deals came along a- after I got here because me and you talked about them. I and had a we started before, like but it, 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 it was wasn't everybody. Rare. Yeah, it was very rare. Yeah, and so now it, it's look to the point now. If you don't know who, like what we do as far as like who we are as as a team and who we are as a company, yeah, this organization has proven itself. Yeah, man. Like ask your manager, ask your coach, and if your coach don't know, you probably need a different coach. Yeah. If your manager don't know, you probably ain't got the right manager. You know, like we have great working relationships with all the top level management in MMA. And, you know, we do what we say we're going to do. We, we keep you busy. As long as you are not injured, we got you. We'll make it, we'll make, we'll, we'll make it happen. So, uh, this in, in weekend, order for the, the organization to make a commitment to a fighter, that's the level it takes. Like, you know, a four or five deal. We want that man. same commitment. Yeah, exactly. If well, I'm going to invest in you, you got it. How, how much, how much would you invest in somebody that's only going to fight one time guaranteed for you? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. We can't do nothing for anybody that does that. Right. You got it? 
Yeah. And this weekend's Fury Challenger cards headlined by Adam Smith taking on the undefeated Yadier. De, is it Devaye? Yadier Devaye. Devaye. Hey, the Cuban problem is exciting. Yeah, he's a problem from Cuba. And Adam Smith got here last night. He actually just left. Shout out to St. Michael's. Knocked all his medicals out. Adam Smith's tough, man. He said he has had both hips replaced. Yeah, he don't care. <clears throat> like that dude fought. He fought Evan Cuts. With uh, with like a this here he had no hip basically. Oh wow! And did well, like he did well in that fight. He had good moments. You can't look past this guy. No, you know I know Yadi is a, he's a stud too, man. He's undefeated, but this dude Adam Smith has twenty plus fights and he's been in there with some of the best guys around. So you can't look past him because he could upset the show. Like, he could, you know, he he very well could upset the show. Not only um, that, Yadi is going up to one fifty five. It'll be, outside his weight it'll be interesting to see what Yadier does in this return. He's had a little bit of time off since since his last victory. I think it was that was the Aswell fight, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, versus Aswell. Uh, also in this card, dude, I'm excited for this fight. Bruce Whitehead and Devin Dixon. Oh yeah. Dude, the last Bruce time we saw the goose, we saw baby, the goose back in the cage, got into a 10 second slugfest that led oh, to him choking the dude out, dropping each other, dropping each yeah. other. And wow. which, if you could have, if we had an award for just like moment of the night, geez, that might have been moment of the year. Like yeah. that was amazing. Maybe, maybe on select cards in instances like that, we need to make a little something, something it's for moment of the night. We yeah. went from saying him being boring. I know. Hey, he flipped the switch, like, man. Bro, you're just exciting as fuck. Y'all, y'all triggered Bruce the Goose, man. He's like, <laughs> I'm boring, man. Fuck you. You're boring. I've heard your podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Big shout talk out. about, man, such such a great guy, too. Like, when you talk with his training partners, talk with his coaches, super nice guy. Always there to, yeah. to, to help, help, help somebody. Hell yeah. And uh, he's been nothing but great to work with. And he took exactly, this is what we want from a fighter. If we come to you and say, hey, man, you, I, we think you need to do this, it's only coming from a place where we want you to go to the next level. Yeah. That's it. Right. That's it. Like we're not we're not trying yeah, to make you, you more exciting for us. We want you to be excited and get the hell out of here. Boom. Yeah. He's, bing. he's making his fucking case for himself. <laughs> he sure shit is. And if he gets through this one, he's got a hell of a fight lined up for yeah, man. Oh, yeah. dude, I'm hey, I'm ex- I, I know I know if I who I t- hey, we'll tell you boys off air. It's a badass fight. What's what's happening? What, 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 421. As long as Bruce, okay, Bruce gets right. through this fight, we got a, a bang. All right. There, there's right half there. a spoiler for you, but hey, on the Sunday's card, man, Michael Murder Murphy's coming back, right? Ooh, Murder Murphy taking on Solo Hatley Jr. Um that man has never Solo. been low. Never been right in a boring fight. That's why they call him solo cups. Well, these, these are hefty cups. Oh, Mr. Are Michael yeah, Murphy. But, you know. um, this will be interesting. Solo is built similar to Michael in that they're tall, lengthy, lightweights, very experienced fighters. Um, so this, this this will be a fun contest for sure, man. Hell yeah. Hey, shout out before we get to our next one. Uh, shout out to Howler Head Whiskey uh, for providing us with the delicious treats Ooh. this morning for our show once again. And shout out to Live Oak Vodka, powering Eric's little little solo cup. But back here, vodka the, water, vodka water going vodka on. Vodka water for early Eric Garcia. Um, vodka water. Returning is our TMF champ. Shaquem Richardson. Shaquem Richardson. Taking on, taking on Cody Freeman. Shaquem is sitting over there on the couch right now looking at it. Cody right Freeman's now. got this one, man. Is, is, is the belt on the line? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shaquem, I know, I, know, I know you're off on the side right now, but if you could give me a uh, – give me, what's the best way this fight could go for you, like in, in your mind? How, how do you envision it going? First round knockout. You heard it here first. You keep saying he's going to knock you out in the first round. Yeah, Cody. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say about that, Cody Freeman? Is he on? No, he's not on. He's yeah, not that'd on. be cool. That'd be cool hey, if he shout was. shout out to uh, somebody else who says, uh, when are we coming back to Colorado? Yeah. Uh, later this year, man. Later this year. I, I, I've been getting that question, too, man. Hey, look, we're getting ready to announce some states. Let's some new go. states. I'm telling Puerto you right Rico? now. Puerto Rico? Puerto, Puerto That's Rico. a territory. Come on, man. State, man. Yeah, Ali. No, no, but I'm just saying... You said nude. Not new nude. Spots. Not hey, nude. Come on, D. New. New spots. N-E-W, not N-E-W-D. What about Puerto Rico? Let's so we got Puerto the, the always exciting on. TMF yeah. champ taking on the Bison, Cody Freeman. Uh, it's going to be an interesting fight as well. I need some Odyssey pressure? Beer Works in my life. I'm going to need, need you to Odyssey. pull some Denver magic, some man. Beer works. Um, hey, shout the, out to Sh- Shane Lehman stepping up short now to take on Mr. Sean Kennard. A lot of people fall out when they, want, when they come and they see the pictures of Sean, that big-ass beard. He looks like... What I, I mean, when you think of TV series like Vikings, he looks yeah, like he man. on the Vikings show. Dead on. Dead nut. The Vi- that's what he should call himself, the shaved, Viking. Clean shave. He probably has no chin. <laughs> 
Maybe, shock, maybe, maybe, shock, maybe shock. Maybe double chip. Hey, they, they have apps. They have apps where you can do that. How, gr- how great would it be if Sean had like some kind of crazy chip? Is Sean Kennard on live? He, he's on Instagram. He's got, song. he's got like a penis tattoo right here. That's why. He yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. great would that be? Like, uh, no, you know what? Probably a guy like he's probably got some like badass jawline. I think they, they, they have apps where you can like add or remove facial hair. Sean Kennard, I challenge you, post, hey, look, a, man, post face, a picture beardless. Facial hair helps. Shout out to my guy, Brian Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Does Brian have no chin or what? <laughs> he just, he looks very different, dude. When you, when you, I mean, everybody looks different without, without their beard. Yeah. Uh, but some guys look extremely different. Shout out to Zeke Ram talking about Freddie Rodriguez for the win. Uh, well, well, not yet. Yeah, but when, when, when we Freddy. get to that one, March tenth, man, for sure. Uh, Freddie's got an exciting fight as well going on there. Hey, man, shout out to everybody on the IG live. If you've got some throw some questions, questions at us out here, we've got talk uh, some trash. Josh awesome coming Something. up here in just a minute to talk about uh, his last fight. You guys got any questions? Make sure you get them ready. Right. Also on this card, the returning Oliver Jimenez. Or Jimenez, as he likes Jimenez to say. Jimenez or Jimenez or Jimenez. 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 Oliver Jimenez. Is, Man, Rich has been returning. in Houston long enough. You would think that some of these Spanish names would flow that by now. doesn't mean I tried to change yeah. what I do. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Coon asses, man. I'll tell hey, you. Speaking of Houston, shout out to uh, uh, White Cup Entertainment. For, I like, like Boom. There we yeah. go. Hey, sh- shout out. Look at that right there. I mean, they didn't, I paid for it. They didn't, they didn't give it to me. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. not why. Oh, hey, <laughs> shout, shout out to... <laughs> Bail money, yeah. remedy, and the silverback yeah, Nate Sean Slater. Sean had a beard forever. If we're, if we're <laughs> we got, shouting out our t-shirts, hey, kicking off our, I paid uh, for mine too. Kicking off our, <laughs> kicking off our main card at four thirty on the Fury. I'm um, oh, sorry, on the UFC Fight Pass Facebook page, we got Tater Tater McSpadden taking on Lester Botchers Jr. Uh, exciting wow. fight, man! Tough yeah. fight for, for Lester's for, for first pro fight here. Right and cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. Eric's hey, on his phone over there, man. Look at that. I'll I'll chime in, man. You know, uh, Tater McSpadden and Sean Connor, no, no beard. beard. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, when's that, that, that from? That's my... It looks like Brian Marvin. Is Sean Kennard Brian this Marvin this with a bigger beard? Bigger muscles. Oh, Brian. I'm sorry. I See, if, if we it, spent bro. more time on these bits, Eric would have found that when we were talking about Sean Kennard like jacked. 10 minutes ago. Clean shave, right? That's a good look right there. Hey, what do what we think about the returning? Kind of looks like Murphy wow. Rumble Cop. What about well, uh, Yeah, Zach man. When, when was that? <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers. <laughs> Zach Borrego returning uh, one week one week from his last fight. Wanted to get back, back into Murph. this fight. Huh? Michael Murphy as well. I know. We said that earlier, man. Where were you at? No, you said he was fighting. You didn't say one week from his fight. Man, Rich, Rich is used to that radio life, man. He's like hitting times, hitting like fights. He's like on, on cue, man. And we're like man, just I, dragging him down. Someone's got to move this show along. We're, we're just dragging him down. Trying to, I don't move this we're, show we're, we're just along, trying to hold him back and talk about it's shit, just dude. just dick talk the entire time if we don't move it along. Runaway train here. <laughs> runaway never train back. never coming back. <laughs> Rich gets the runaway train title this week for staying on point. Uh, are, you, are you trying to play a song? Let me, let me wait for you. It'll it'll be five minutes from now when he finds it, and you'll be on like you know the undercard. And he'll hey, also play it then. on the card we've got Michael White, Demas Chapas, Alex De La Cruz. Uh, some awesome fights, man. These are you know our Challenger series started off as a way for us to have more cards to put some of these pro fighters on, especially the younger pro fighters. Yeah, but we've kind of evolved that. a little bit where we gives us space to put some of the more yeah, experienced guys. Yeah, well it gives too. them an opportunity to headline an event where they might not get that opportunity on a. Main Fury FC card. For face offs this weekend. Hit him. Hit him with it. With the Fuego Taco and Bar. Fuego Taco and Bar, man. Hey, I'm looking forward to checking that spot out, man. Uh, I go to that movie theater right there next to it, you know, for all the new movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, it's a great area. Uh, that, that's where me and Ashton go to check out all the new movies when they come out. And I've seen that spot. I don't. I damn sure don't want to eat at the movie theater, so I'm gonna go hit Fuego Taco this they're, weekend after the weigh ins. Apparently, they're creating a Fury Margarita for just for this weekend. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's gonna have blood oh, in yeah? it. It's, it's, it's gonna, gonna red in it. red. It's, gonna, it's gonna knock you out in the first round. Oh, let's go. My, there's gonna be a two max <coughs> limit, or you can't drive, they said. Boom. Two of those bad boys. Oh, shit. I, 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 I don't so think I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm not drinking that shit then. <laughs> I'm drinking it. I'm drinking three. They told me uh, two, I'm drinking three. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll drink three, and then Eric will sneak me in an Uber. Hey, shout out, shout out to, to the fan OMMA. Give me three years. I'm gonna be in Talks Cafe. Look, I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm, I'm assuming you're saying in a few years you're gonna be fighting for Let's, us. I'm gonna be in Talks Cafe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boom. Where's that at? Hey, he, he had one of those Fury hey, margaritas yeah, we were just my talking man, about. He's already on, on the Fury sauce. Either that or he's in that Howler Head whiskey or Live Oak Vodka already. Talking about up and coming DJ Don Doyle. We're excited to have Don, Don oh, yeah. with us, man. We've, we've been trying to get Don signed for a while. Um, tough fight. Tough first fight coming oh, bro, up. Bro, I got, listen, for April 21st, I got a banger for him, too. This dude. He's got to get through this one. Yeah. But he's got a banger. Welterweight. So let's see Look, with DJ Doyle. And listen, I met with I met with Johnny Bedford yesterday uh, in Dallas. He was picking up tickets and stuff. He wanted to bet me a thousand dollars that Don Doyle is going to knock Anthony Ivy out in the first round. Well, well sir, we are promoters. We're not allowed yeah. to, to make that. That's what yeah. I said. I, well, I told him. I How like, would that fucking bro, look, man? Like he's the like, Pete Rose does, of promoters. Says, if he doesn't knock him out, he's going to finish him in the first round. Has anybody finished Anthony Ivy in the first round? Like. That's that's a bold fucking statement, that's a bold, man. Very like, bold like, statement. That's a very bold Anthony statement. Anthony Ivy is legit as it gets. Are man. you going there? No, you got it. Go ahead. You got you got the research. I'm over here on the live right now. I don't think he's been finished in the first round. Maybe in, Maybe the, UFC. in the UFC. Yeah. Even in the UFC? No. Um do, 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 two, do, do, do. Two. he's he's won a lot in the first round. Round two, uh, lost knees Nikolai. Yeah, yeah. Nikolai, so Nikolai very Yes. So, so that, that, there was, was one. I was looking for a fight. Yeah, it was. Yep. And then uh UFC fight night. He lost in the first round. Ivy's a dog, That was man. it. That was it. And all these fights, that's it. And Ivy's been in there with the best. Look, I'm I'm excited for Doyle, man. We, we've we been talking about this kid. This is a kid who, for another promotion years ago, I watched him, like, come in and fight and then go to, like, a high school dance. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, 24 years old. He's like, four. <laughs> okay. Well, let's move on. So, okay. <laughs> yes. There's a possibility Eric could lose a thousand bucks if he'd have taken that bet. Details, <laughs> Yeah. No bets. So, I mean, Doyle, I'm assuming he's probably around 20, 21 now. No, he's um, 24, I think. Is he 24? <sighs> Dude, I, I remember that kid come, going, like, fighting and then going to, a, like, a dance of some kind. I want to say Michael White did that, too, as, as, as an amateur at too. some point. He yeah. prom. Yeah. The enchantment under the sea. Yeah. Yeah, the enchantment. Yeah, I remember the coaches asking us, hey, can we, can we move these guys up earlier in the card for what? So they can go to prom? I'm like, oh, shit. All right. Yeah, I guess so. You know? Like, uh I was like, Jacob Silva was sure. Too. That's hmm, I don't know. <laughs> he could sneak in. Like he could he could sneak in. They'd be like somebody's backpack. They'd be like, "Sir, you are in eighth grade. What are you? What are you? What are you doing over here? You're not in yeah. trust being prom." Yeah. Duh. So going down this weekend, make sure you guys get your tickets. FuryFC.tv. Uh, hey, w- real quick, for bringing our special guest, make sure you follow our our sponsors: Sheath Underwear, Space City Collective, Live Oak Vodka, Private mm-hmm. Label. Oh, yeah, you got that new private label Yes, bag. man. That right, backpack right, is a I, lifesaver, is man. Dude, it's awesome. It's got, like, little pockets individually for, like, the mic flags and stuff on the inside. Spot for the laptop. All kinds of additional space. Man, I got so much stuff in there. It's organized. Hey, What would Diego use all those pockets for? Probably lotions bag. and I don't know, probably not condoms. Uh, you're bag. probably not a condom you're guy. Not a condom yeah. guy, right? Nah, probably like, like a lot of flavored like gels and you just, lotions. You just work, and on, you just work on hope, hope and timing. Yeah, <laughs> raw. <laughs> probably like some crotchless underwear. Yeah, for maybe, maybe some sheets. For yeah, for Diego. Yeah, yeah. 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 Feel the struggle. You like you, you like feeling the struggle, right? Like, oh no, officer, please stop. <laughs> like, right, I get it. Come on, man. No, I, I, I get it, man. Hey, hey, the fifth. Right, the I, fifth. I'm with you, dog. I'm with you. As you know. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? That's my penis, officer. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> hey, also, shout out to our other amazing sponsor. Make sure you guys go to OnlyFans.com slash Fury Fighting. Uh, thank you for those who are following us right now. On Fuego Taco and Bar. <laughs> and the Fuego Taco and Bar. After party, you guys, man. After party. 60 shows in, and we cannot talk about fucking sponsors normally. Yeah. Make sure you go check out Kamura Tattoo Company, guys. Hey, I want to I want to cover my tattoo over here. Oh, you should. What, wait, what do you what have over there? What is it? A swastika? No. You got Pepe Le Pew? Oh, okay. All right. You got a fucking swastika? You got That's a swastika, what I heard. Diego? No. <laughs> Damn. God damn you, Diego. He's got Lulac. Hey, damn. Lulac tattoo. No, it's a, it's a, conf- it's can a we Confederate do a flag. At the, can we do a He's got a Confederate flag, flag on the right Kimura shoulder. Tattoo? At Kamura Tattoo Company? We can do company? it at the Fuego yeah. Taco Bar, though. Let's go. Wait, you want to get like a group tattoo? Yeah. Wait, we're all going to get Fury tattooed on our necks. You go first, though. All right. All right. You, you going to go first? No. <laughs> if I can get I'll pay tattooed on my neck. Do it. Uh, hey, that one fighter, Derek Pierce, did his. He did his forearm. Yep. He Kick ass. ass. Yeah. Yep. You got a Kimura bonus? He did the straight up fucking Fury logo right down his forearm. Big. Wow. Looks legit, but you would have thought I would have got that, not him. That's how committed he is to your organization. I'm putting him on. You lack commitment, sir. I 
know, somebody's gonna buy me out one day. I don't want to have that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. That's the goal, right? That's the plan. Oh shit. That's funny. All right, guys. Hey, we are bringing you now on to the show one of the hottest prospects in the nation at 145 pounds. Let's bring on Mr. Super Glue, Josh Altum. That was like clapping right there. Right. Insert, Diego, insert right. clapping, insert. Diego. Hold on, Diego. Hold on let me see if I got right the wrong. Yeah, Fucking Rich doing intros for the fighters and everything now, man. I'm just going to sit over here and drink Howler. <laughs> I got it. I'm trying to move the shit along, man. disgusting to me, bro. Nah, it's all good. That's just song. disgusting to me, dog. I do it like this. this shit doesn't look disgusting when you add three wins to this number, though. Yeah, you yeah. gotta understand that. Like, Boom. And we, two of those are two of those are too legit. Two of those are, are, are two two ones I didn't even have to take. Shouldn't have took. Like you gotta think we, and that's what our bring job that is bring for. that up a little. You're pointing at your chest there. There we go. We want the people to be able to hear what you have to say. What's up, Mr. Super Glue? How we doing today? Good, man. Good. I appreciate y'all having me on. It's nice oh, in here. Hell yeah. Nice Super setup. Glue, awesome in the studio. Where'd that nickname come from, man? How'd you get that? Um, So, I don't know if y'all remember Ralph Garcia. Yeah. He was uh, an yeah, yeah. amateur. Uh, he, he sadly, he did something and, and went away to the uh, pen for a he while. He went to college for a few years? Is okay. He yeah. still, is he yeah. still there? Yeah. Yeah. How long? Uh. Until he he's gets his master's, there. he's been there a long time. He's but been he, there a long time. Yeah, he's been there a long time. But he's, uh, I think he's, I think he's got another like ten or something like that. But he's almost had appeals or whatever where it almost uh, it got for a while. For a while there, like those first years that he was there, man, I was sending him magazines and shit and writing to him all the time. He's like, like porn. Kind of, what kind of magazines? Yeah, what kind of magazines? Like MMA related. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. He had a magazine for a little while. Yeah. yeah. UFC did. Yeah. He was. He was a real. Uh, he was a real prospect. Like he was yeah. an actual yeah, dog. He fought bro. Ryan Spann twice. Yeah. And he fought Ryan Spann, and he's naturally a welterweight. And Ryan Spann's literally could be a heavyweight. Ralph yeah. came down to fifty five at one fight. Yeah, I think. he fought David Kelly, and he yes. destroyed him in Galveston. And, and everyone good, was man. like, "Oh shit!" Because remember, David Kelly was David hyped up. David Kelly, yeah. David Kelly was hyped up, and Ralph went in there and dogged. I was like fifteen or sixteen, and I was like, "Shit, damn!" Man. I forgot about Ralph, bro. Like, he he hits me dog, up. Bro. He hits me up on a on a on whatever phone he gets. Ever yeah. soft, I swear. <laughs> but so anyway, that's how I got the the nickname. Allegedly, though. allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly. That's how I got the nickname, though. So when I was 14, he came to our gym, and he was he had just got a belt at this time in MMA. He had fought Ryan Spann already before Ryan Spann was who he is. Yeah. And uh, uh, I basically got to his back, and I held his back for like six and a half minutes, and he couldn't <laughs> get me off him. And his uncles, who were uh, banditos and, yeah. and hardcore dudes, were like, yeah, man, that motherfucker's like super glue, da, da, da. And then some people kept calling me super glue at that gym, and it just kind of – it kind of kept rolling. And what's crazy is even in the past five years, I've trained with like two or three people. And when we've rolled, they told me without knowing me or without knowing my yeah. nickname that like I was real sticky. And I was like, bro, yeah. this is my fucking nickname. There you go, man. Good. His yeah, amateur so. debut was against Colton England. Jeez. In, yeah. In 2012. Yeah. 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 And remember, that was a controversial um mm -hmm. You know, ending. They too. called it a TKO. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that one was, up and he was. Yeah, like, he was pissed. He was yeah. pissed. It was controversial. They yeah. could have let him. You know, but he's a dog regardless. So he probably would have. You know, he'd have been. So how, how did how did you get started training? Like, what age? Where'd you get started at? Uh, I started. I was basically just a bad kid at first, and I was. Uh, I was just. Uh, I was just getting into trouble at school, and then uh, my cousin basically basically knocked me out and took me to a boxing gym the next day. <laughs> And I was about 12. It's like, you can't yeah. fight. Let me it's like, hey, man, come on. I need you to put a little more fight than that, man. I feel bad for knocking you out. The situation that happened, we were all boxing in front of our elementary school. And, uh, and me, it was me and a group of friends. I got both of them tatted on my shoulders now, actually. But uh, uh, I was boxing with them, and then my cousin pulled up. And he was a little older, and he boxed. And my uncle jumped out with him, and he was like, any of you motherfuckers want to box a real boxer? Da, da, da. And everyone literally just, you know, like didn't say shit. So I just, I just, jumped. I said whatever. I did it, and I threw one left hook, and then he slipped it, hit me, and I fell. You know, well, well, you probably whoop his ass now. Oh yeah, well I mean, I, I mean <laughs> oh yeah, yeah without yeah, saying, yeah. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but you know that was when I was twelve. You know right. what I mean? He, yeah, you know, no that was, uh, you know, but that he literally took me to the boxing gym the next day. You know, so and changed uh, everything. Oh yeah, yeah, that changed everything. And he passed away like four five six years ago oh, now okay. and uh it was just last time i seen him i was running before one of my fights and he uh and he uh just said what's up to me so so did cool. he ever get to watch you fight 
Oh yeah, and he was a fighter. He you could look you could look him up. He was, but he wasn't a amateur. He was like in the bars when when it before it was scoreboard. Yeah, like it, before it was you know like all official. You know he was, but he was a real dog. You could ask anybody. You know about him. He felt like there. Kimbo Slice in the backyard. Not, or what? Not, yeah. not really. Like I'm talking about brutal. Like you know. So he's he, just a kid who had nothing growing up. His parents were both drug, druggies, you know, and he just, that's all he did and all he was known for, you know. And you made your debut in 2014. Yeah. Amateur debut. Yeah. You actually fought Cody Freeman, huh? Yeah, yeah, I destroyed Cody Who, Freeman. Shaquem's fighting this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Round I, one finish, 121 with a knee bar. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm talking like that. I, uh, Cody, Cody's good, and he's gotten a lot better, too. We fought years ago, you know. Y'all fought uh, at 45? Yeah. Well, no, at 40. Uh so he was. He had a fight at thirty five. I had a fight at forty five, and, and they called us, up. and we did it one forty. And I was okay. smaller back then, obviously, you know. So I, I you know, I made the one forty. You remember Kyle Villarreal was a fucking dog. Oh, I remember. I'm yeah. looking at that. I remember that name, yeah. man. Fucking you, armbarred is isn't him. Too. Well, remember, I fucking stood up with him though for the first three, you know, the first rounds, go, going back and forth with him, and then I subbed him. Yeah, bro. that was a good one. I forgot you. You're still very young in your career, man. No, nah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like that's that's why if you look at that number, bro, five and three, it pisses me off because I I'm, I know I'm not that kind of fighter, but I know that my two lock because this last fight I, I'm not even thinking about that shit like that on, on my on, on the on the L's, you know. But the two fights that I've lost were a main event when I was three and zero against a guy six and zero. And if you look at his topology, it says his last weigh-in was one fifty five. So I don't even know if he weighed the right weight. Who? The guy I fought, his name was uh, Jess Martinez. Oh, your your first loss. Yeah, yeah, in, in yeah. I don't, I don't think he he made weight for that one. He, he weighed fifty five on topology, yeah. and bro, that fight was on an Indian reservation. It was yeah. on a mountain Where is in that? New Mexico. Yeah. Southwest MMA. It was Jackson's. Jackson's uh, Jack. Jackson Indian, Indian, Indian re- reservation. Okay, so this fights. is topology. Let's see where he's at on. Uh, and he ain't fought official. since our fight. Yeah. He ain't fought since our fight. I know it's because of how tough it was. He, he he told me after the fight. And then obviously you know with Root that was a massive one one. Yeah, that was yeah. yeah. And, and, I just, and, and 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 bro, I still could have I still could have done my thing in that fight. I just. I just wasn't in that right mindset coming in, you know, on that week. I, rem- I remember, like, leading up to that fight, you know, we had had some conversations. We were like, you know, man, they sure, like, you're going up to take a weight against against this fight. There's really – it wasn't this – but it seemed like you just had – I just got to get it over with. I got to get get in it. Like it was, it was a well, it was just different mindset. And you got to remember, right before the Arup fight, I was supposed to fight in front of Dana. I went out there yeah. and I saw Theo Rylang, Frank. right? Was it yeah, Theo Rylang? But I yeah. subbed. So th- this is how this is how those two months went for me. I fought Frank, and I knew that Dana was coming to town before I fought Frank. And Eric had already hit me up. and Was like, look, if you get through this fight clean, I'll have you on that card in front of Dana. And I was like, all right, bet. I went out there, subbed Frank. I even yep. I even kind of tore my hamstring. Not all the way. It was like a partial thing in the Frank. You fight. armbarred him, right? First, no, first triangle. Triangle first round, right? Yeah, first round. Yeah, real quick. I remember he mounted in. Yeah. It was bad. And this, was and this, bad, and this was. And Frank was like. Uh, I was about to say, and this was. I, I get it. Frank now has been getting caught by everybody, but Frank was three and zero, and he was he was the bulldozer when he came to fight me. You know what I mean? I didn't know yeah. nothing about him. You know, yeah. uh, but I knew I was going to fight in front Just of Dana search, before that, and fear. then fucking, I get out yeah. of that fight clean, and then Theo does what he does. You know the bullshit that he that he you, pulled. You know, you. yeah, he pulled. Theo pulled out of that fight with saying he had an injury, knowing that they had called him for contender series or some shit. Because uh, he ended up going to contender series and losing to like Stephen Wynn or Stephen. Yeah, and he's in the UFC now. He just got out. Yeah, Stephen. But the fact, but the fact that he would pull out right before or or not say nothing about. The fight, and, like right before the plane ride, you know that shit was disrespectful, bro. He messaged me like a couple, few months back, and tried to like be cool and like, hey, bro, we could get this fight one day. I literally sent him a no. picture of me flexed up in the mirror. I was, I swear to God, he I did. I was messaged us one time asking to come back on roster, and I was just like, I literally told him, I was like, bro, you're fucking lucky that we we didn't fight, and you're and you're you're lucky that we're not because I'm telling you, you're. Uh, the the shit that you pulled, I don't even I don't care if you had that contender series fight. You could have gave Eric notice. You could have gave me notice so that we could have lined something up for me because you t- yeah. you t- you literally you took, took my an opportunity, opportunity. Yeah. and an opportunity that I literally fought for because I fought three weeks before that night. Yep. I literally trained the next day. I fought on that Sunday. Me and Joel met up the next day Monday, and I literally tra- I didn't take one day because I was like, all right, I, I-, I got the Dana fight now. What are you doing? Just to do some Dude, shit like that. Speaking man. of Joel, right like y'all go back okay. pretty far, huh? Yeah, yeah, you real far. Yeah, that's my bro. He, yeah, that's, that's, he's my coach, but he's that's that's like my brother. How'd y'all meet? Through the boxing gym. The boxing okay. gym I got knocked out and took took me to. That was Joel's dad's gym, 
And Joel was a boxer, and Joel was a bad motherfucker, bro. I'm talking about like speed and explosion. You, you trust? You'd have to see it. You don't, you don't even understand. Like he you'd fought have to see MMA it. for us a couple times. And bro, he, I was his training partner. I was yeah. his coach, and then like his but training partner. But it was all. They would just grab. They would grab. We didn't know what we were doing at all. He fought bro. Rob Wood. Yes, yes. Did we he were, fight Rob Wood? <laughs> we were really talking and about Rob last Wood. Week. And then Rob Wood was the main event on Fury One versus Alex Morono, and he beat Alex. Yeah, yeah. So. We were actually just talking about that like a week ago. Rob know? Woods is still undefeated till this day and never stepped. Like, he just kind of walked away at like 7-0 and or 8-0, and I think. Yeah. As a yeah. pro and never went to the there's, UFC. Man, there's, there's a couple guys James who, who came out, yeah, who came out on these, like, that weird time of MMA where they're like, their peak yes. was right before you could actually have a clear way to get in. Right. You know, I mean, there was there was a lot of. Rob I mean, Wood is I mean go back, no. go back and look at a guy like our our own referee Jeff Rexroad. It's crazy. You know, like he was the one seventy champ at Fury. I mean, I'm sorry, at Legacy, the real um, legacy, the, the real legacy, um, and upset. You know, Lucas Pimenta, who had come in with all this massive wave. I remember of, watching that fight on Access. Yeah, so so that was the night that that Makako. I love you, Doc. Got 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 so got so mad at me and Mick because we like mainly Mick. Because Mick got to give like a little celebration oh, when, yeah, when, 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 when Jeff won. But like it was yeah. another Houston guy that won. Mick's just yeah. happy. It was a, a crazy submission. And I remember Monday night at the gym, Makaka like beat the shit out of me. I was like, <laughs> 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 she knows about those nights, man. Like, I'm like, God dang, dude. I'm, I just worked there, dog. Why are you mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you used to train over there, <laughs> That's too. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah, Makako, but yeah, that that's a guy. But one day we should just have not necessarily Makako because because that that's rough and stuff. Just guys who train with Makako, you could have a whole fucking show just about his crazy ass. Makako's like, ass. Yeah, he's dude, he's insane. Did it's, Harley come from there? He was a Did Harley and Emerson so, and those guys. Yeah, they were shoot box, right? Yeah. 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 Cyber Did you ever train with Harley? I train with Harley. Harley's a crazy motherfucker yeah. too, bro. Yeah. Harley be sending me videos of him like hammer fisting dudes outside the strip club in the parking lot. Yeah. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, or riding up with an arsenal in a van. You're like, what? bro, and then he's got like an AK strapped yeah. up and he'll put it on the side and just sock the dude. And I'm like, clubs and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now Emerson's he's a GM, the GM right at Pumps Wild, baby. Yeah. Can you hear me? What? Well, he's in the hospitality industry. What are you talking yeah. about? What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> it was good to see Emerson back too, though. Yeah, yeah it, it was. was. It was. It was cool. Cool to see. Tough fight too, man. Like he, Justin Longoria, man. God damn. Oh, yeah, that's kids, a tough fight to come oh, back to. I've been to. training with Justin. I've been yeah. training with Justin since he was uh, young. Me and his uh, Javier. Oh, that's right. Javier Javi knows you. Uh, we 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 know each other like real good. Like yeah, far back. Yeah, yeah, real, yeah, 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 real good. Not even outside. You know, outside of. Um, fighting and outside uh, of fighting yeah and um that fucking kid justin bro i'm telling you he he he's a he's gonna be a he issue. had a brother he, fun, man. he had a brother matthew longoria that fought from yeah. years ago and uh i don't know what happened to matthew but they were telling me he wants to come back he's just one of them kids bro he, he, he's had a rough background and he's, justin yeah and he's and he's he's just a dog to the to he's the end. He's got the dog and, in him, and bro. he's got the skills to back it up, you know. And oh, I think God. he can do anything. Uh, with, you with, you fought know, on our most it. recent Fury FC eighty five card, picked up the win. Yeah, he's, and he's not picking up just like same card as uh, Josh Altham fought on. He's picking up big, like he's picking up man fights. Like he's yeah, like yeah. he's not going in there and like yeah. you know skilling back and forth, you know, and out skilling these guys. Like, and he and he can. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying he's going out there and literally like choosing the bang. Dude, with that these fight with, with him and Javier Cepeda. Yeah, and the, right. and, they, and these are these guys are grown. This is a kid. Yeah. You know, we this got is really him a kid. booked for San Antonio versus Eddie Friere. Oh, that's a, who uh, yeah, that's a Longoria? A fucking yeah. banger of a fight. Yeah, so dude. somebody messaged me uh, suggesting that actually, fight recently. Like main event of Challenger Series. Oh, that 100%. fight could be a main. Hundred percent. That's a big fight. That's going to be like our yeah, first Mike, prelim, our yeah. first prelim opener. Beer like, awesome. you got there? Boom. Oh no, I got you, bro. Got you. Got you. Well, hey, thank shit, you. man. We're about to jump into this fight with you and Aswell. There's some controversy. Before over. before we do, man, man give us I your can, thoughts we can on just that. Talk about. I can talk about. I, I, I've, been, <laughs> well, I've, been, well, I've been ready. I've been ready. We'll, we'll, we'll ready. give you. We'll give you a chance to talk, but we do want to do the watch yeah, along. Okay, okay, that's that's we'll do this. I like. I like watching. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we we we'll do this. We'll we'll have it play. 
while it's playing, dude, this this is your stage to talk yeah. and say how you felt, what was going on. Um, and it's your time, man. Yeah, your time to say, you. say, say what you got to say. Let's so. watch just me controlling for three, Let have me, a competitive four. As we take a look at the going. official tale of the tape. As I skip it. Yeah. <laughs> you can watch it there. You can watch it here. <laughs> IG Live, if y'all have any any questions. I can't believe you wanted to skip that guy's Hall of Fame introduction. That's for some Josh, bullshit, man. For Josh Altum, uh, send, send us a message there on the IG Live. Yeah, give us your thoughts. Any, anything surprise you at, at the start of this fight with him? No, he did exactly what, what I said. I, I was like, how how is he going to strike with me out in the in the open, and how is he going to grapple with me? And he chose not to do either. You know, he just chose to come right up in my face. Yeah. Um, did you expect him to strike that much, or did you think he was going to try and grab you and wrestle? No, to be real with you, to be real with you, and 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 you got to watch. You know, these there's details here. Like, there's a lot of punches. I, I'm slipping. I'm getting yeah. out the way of. I'm countering. You got to watch. You got to understand. I'm attacking his body with teeps. I'm landing body kick. I didn't miss a body kick. I didn't miss a single one. I already already watched and and, and counted. Dude, but this, uh, this slick elbow you land. Oh, it's that's one of the nastiest yeah, elbows. Yeah, that was yeah. grotesque. I'm not gonna lie to you. Comes to mind because I hit him. You know, I dropped him with the elbow in the fourth. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I hit him with a few other elbows too. The one in yeah. the fourth, I think it was back to back elbows. Yeah, I yes, there's two of them. Yeah, you see that head. calf kick. Yeah, uh, uh, goddamn, we could just skip the fourth the round. That. Spoiler alert. <laughs> And see, bro, I'm watching this fight, and like, you gotta understand from my my view, I'm I'm ooh, that was it right there. It was yeah. so nasty. It was so nasty. And yeah, props to him for 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 keeping it keeping it going because that was bad. He'll be Harry Potter for the rest of his life. Your your face whenever you saw what you did, man, it was like a kid got what he wanted yeah. at a birthday party or something, yeah. man. And see, I'm 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 still attacking the body. I'm. It's no question about these first few rounds. That's the first. That's probably the first punch he's landed of the <clears> round. You know. First actual Did he punch. have power? No, no. A lot of guys no. that fight him say when no. he lands that that nah. kick can hit hard. Nah, he, he everybody's can't. got a nah. different chip. No, nah, he can't. Yeah, I was gonna tell you like, and, and I'm not saying he can't hit. Everybody can hit, bro. I'm not. I'm right. not saying that Anybody at all. Anybody can knock somebody out. Yeah, and if you watch that exchange, I didn't get hit one time in the in, in him punching forward like that. That's why I think that because I seen the scorecards, the judges were here in the crowd and they were watching where he was at, and Jeez. he was he was more forward on me. But bro, yeah. If you're not using that forward pressure to do takedowns or to put me on the wall and strike hard on me, you're not really using it. Right. And I'm out striking him, bro, in these first few rounds. Easy on here. That's that's the second actual punch he lands in the round. You got you can't forget all the shit I've done the whole round, you know? And uh uh what what added up on me, bro, in this fight was my nose. And I can show you and tell you it was later in the second round. He hits me with a jab or something, and bro, that's what was helping me. Cause you crazy if you think I wasn't in shape for five rounds. His daddy was trying to talk about I need to run more. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you. Shout out you know, to Aswell think, Senior. He likes to he likes to defend you, Junior. I think whenever you take too, too out much. whenever you take out the uh, the obvious biases that a lot of people are yeah. going to have. Aswell yeah. well for his dad. You know, I mean, I'm 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 sitting here. We're, we're the same affiliate, man. I'm watching him. I'm listening. I'm like, fuck okay, yeah, he's right. What he's talking about over here too. Yeah, we're all gonna have a, the biggest issue I have with this entire fight. Is that there wasn't a fifth round? Yeah, is that you didn't that, get and yeah. That, yeah, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get across with this. Is, yeah. is uh, I got all kinds of angles I can come with this. We can. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll hey, speak about the next part. All of them. The Lay no, them all good, man. out here, man. But, but that's what we got just, you here it's for. Just what pisses me off, brother, is if they would have stopped this after this first round for that hole I put in his head. Yeah. And I would have celebrated like he was jumping around they and. Want to rematch. You know, bro, they would be demanding you. They, they would be calling me a pussy. They would be. And imagine if I was running from it. I'll show you Aswell's DMs, bro. He hasn't even opened my DMs, but he's posting on Instagram talking about I live for moments like this. I'm piecing you up. What are you talking about? I, I think well, hey, one let's, the, let's one welcome the into things, the studio Michael Aswell. Huh? I think when you when you look <laughs> at come on, I think one thing it's it, it's good to remember as well is that even though his record was bigger going into this fight. I think it was it was pretty clear that he was the underdog coming coming into this yeah. fight. So the expectations, you know, maybe as a corner, I'd probably would have been like, "Holy fuck, we beat him too!" Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, you it, know, you know, so, like, like I said, I could dive all into yeah. this, bro. I, I I really feel like that's what it is. And I feel like because they slid by with how it, how it ended and it worked out in their favor. I mean, that's that, a big win for him. No, it is. That's what it's I massive. that's what I'm saying. And it's he's and, he, and he's trying to just ride off from it. And it's like, bro, me and you both know, like. 
I, you go to that fifth round, bro, and you can see when the doctors are coming in. I'm the one walking back and forth already before he got off the stool. So you two, you two have talked a couple of times. It looked like was there some eye pokes? Yes, he, and, bro, and and and, and he looked like he acknowledged it too. No, like, he did. If you watched a few yeah. of his punches, he throws left hooks like this. Mm. I swear to God, you can watch a few of his left hooks. He throws them with his fingers out, and bro, my eye was sore for like two mm. days from uh from uh, uh the eye pokes. And when Joe Solis put me in, first off. Texas, I don't know what y'all are doing matching me and Joe Solis up as a as a as just a, a crew. I don't know. I'm not even gonna get into it. But the well, what, what, what are you alleging? I've just had history with Joe Solis with scoring. You realize that was like we can't. I know, I know, I, and yeah, it's nothing on fear. That's why I said Texas. That's yeah, why as, why a, I said, as a you, promotion, we you, don't have any say. I, 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 look, I, I can't be honest and say it's gonna help you. But I don't know if, if you've like written Greg or written Gus and be like, hey, I, I want to. It, it, I think once you bring up a, a claim of there could be some bias because of history with, with him, that maybe they might look at that. I don't know if they will, to be honest with and you. And see, man. this is the thing, bro. Even with, you know, the way I feel, you could ask Joe, bro, when he came to, you know, because main events, they come to you personally yeah. and come to give you your, your rules, and they introduce themselves, hey, I'm your, I'm your ref. Bro, I shook Same Joe's man. hand. I, I, I looked him straight in the eyes. I treated him with respect. I yeah. did nothing. I said nothing. I wasn't any way towards him, bro, at all. I, I, I was. I entered this fight. And look, she peeped this out. You see this body language right here? Yeah. Walking back and forth. Go watch the fifth round. Go look at the body language of me coming into the fifth round. It's the same exact body language. But, but right here, he's, it, it, he, it's, it's clear that you're ready to fight. He's not asking you, are you ready to fight? Do you want to fight? I mean, as well, it gets later in the round, yeah, you, got, think, you take more damage thing, over the course of yeah, the fight. Yeah, so yeah. He's, he's asking that question. One thing to remember as well. Yeah, you're walking back and forth right here. Both of you going into the fifth round. Hey, y'all been fucking fighting for 20 minutes. Oh, and bro, like, exactly. you're a little slower. And and bro, he's yeah. checking with both of you, too. He's asking yeah. Aswell also. And, bro, this is another thing that I think that, that, that I Because the doctor just uh, gave the okay yeah, for Aswell so, to continue. he's so lucky. You can hear Alex and them talking about it. They're like, man, this doctor's so old and this and that. Like, you can hear them talking about it. I mean, yeah, I've had my complaints with the doctor. Well, not, bro, that, not that doctor it, that just it, checked it, Aswell, no, the yeah, one yeah, that no, came no, in at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, Whenever he walked into the cage before anything, I told Walker, like, this fight's over. Skinnier guy was cool. Skinnier guy was cool, but, bro... Let me ask you this. When have you ever seen a fighter be asked to hit a squat for their health check? Never Bro, I'm in the fifth round of a, fight, a title fight, fat ass, and I'm not the type. I'm not the A-man. Well, my argument was Hold on, let me finish this real quick. I'm not the type, bro, to disrespect the officials. I'm not sure. the type. I don't want to disrespect y'all, bro. Fat ass. I'm just being real. No, but I'm, 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 no, I'm serious, though, man. Yeah. I'm serious. You, when's the last time you've done a squat, bro? I did one. I did a quarter of a weight one. I didn't think you wanted to ask to the grass squat. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. asking me for a squat in general was confusing to me, bro. I'm going to my fifth round, my 25th minute of fighting. I have a busted nose that's really really bothering me that I did work through I got my minute of recovery, and then you're gonna come here and ask me to squat, and but then you're gonna say the fight. Which over. was an awkward request, but he no, asked no, you to squat, and you and you bent do your you knees though. Him asking anything they, pertinent to what was going on. They never right? asked me not one time. Do you want to fight, bro? I swear to God, I'm trained. I would have said yes. Yeah. I would have easily said. I was shaking my head whenever they said that they're stopping the fight. I literally was like, "What are you doing?" I literally was well, shaking my, my head. Argument what are you doing? with the squat thing was like, "What if this dude has been leg kicked to <laughs> shit yeah. for four rounds, but he still wants to fight just because he's." Thank you, thank you, bro. But it's one of them things. It's like bro, I think we're, we're all we're, in agreement. None of us like the yeah, stoppage. None the squat, of us agree the with the stoppage. And, I, and I really appreciate y'all being Amazing. real on this fact because it's not a bias thing. It's not a anything. It's right. it's what it's what happened. Yeah. And I'm I'm irritated at the fact that Aswell and them are trying to run off from it. And if they would have stopped the fight for the cut, bro, and I ran off, how the fuck would they look at hey, me? Look, man, I'll be honest. Hey, and we're same team. I would tell my guy to run the fuck off too. I, I don't want to go back through that. And, and, like, and you know what? And you know, <laughs> and, you, and you know what? Yeah, to go through another <laughs> war like and you know that. What? Nah, and, you, and you know, and you look at that body kick. You know, spinning body kick straight to the liver. I, oh, but that was, that was aggressive. But. And, and, bro, the thing about it, bro, I'm not sitting here just talking shit, shit, bro. Be. I gave him plenty of respect, bro. I, I literally told him he showed up. Yeah. He was tough. Mm. I, I, I can tell you, bro, what was really bothering me was at the end of this second round, he hits me and he busts my nose. And I've never – you've seen my fights. I move my head good. I've never had a busted nose to where – I literally couldn't breathe out of it. It was my first time as a fighter dealing with that, believe it or not. I, all my years, I've just never had to – and this was my first time going five. So I'm going in my fifth round, bro. 
I finally and going to the third and the fourth round were actually harder for me. That's than right. The, fifth. The, the the Macario fight was only a three rounder. Yeah, was only I thought that rounder. was a five rounder. Yeah, God, that's another good one. I, I would have loved to see that one go five I rounds was, too. Yeah, I was. Oh, and I, I was ready, bro. For the you Macario were, fight. you were. Your remember, tank was there. I, I remember. remember telling my corner. I was like, bro, for that Macario fight, I know I was good for five that night. So, and bro, I was fucked up from the Macario fight, bro. My leg is still hurt. Yeah, like scratch, I had bro. some, I had some injuries from the Macario fight, bro. I didn't have a single injury from this fight. So, so looking, looking back. Like, as we look at the, the replay judges, here at the end of round the, two, you know, the judges. Had, uh, had there's the hook of, you were talking did, about. Is his hand was open? Yeah. The judges didn't agree. They had, you know, they were, I guess, giving more precedence to his, to his pressure moving forward. I, yeah, I, I guess. Um, and I get when you're watching it live and you have a crowd screaming. It's, it's, it, 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 does, it does it's, affect it. It's just we need some people who got eyes, man, and they're and they're just really looking because yeah. we're not at a level of the game no more to where. Like, look at boxing. Do you know how many people win going backwards? And, bro, I don't want to be the fighter going backwards. I'm sure. not making an excuse right. for that. But we're in a game, bro, where it's more high level than that, bro. You can win being on your back foot, too. And there's even times in these rounds when I'm on the front foot. This is so where, just, this is, this is where like, the biggest change that I would like to see outside of how we hire judges and train them is I would love open scoring. Because if you knew going in after this, going into the third round, that, oh, man, dude, they got me down, too. It gives you an opportunity to change what what you're doing. Yeah. Versus and then maybe versus, you're like fuck. I got yeah. Turn versus it up. feeling like it's fuck, man. I'm, yeah. I'm doing yeah. well. Yeah. Let me walk this. Yeah. Down. It'll never happen with the with the betting lines. It, it like, would bro, affect the, the betting lines. The only live thing this whole night, too much. The only thing this whole night. I, I love the idea though. I'm with you. Fucking jab, bro. Yeah. And it, and and it got to me. It, it was just worse for me once my nose got busted because it was just, bro. I was just in my head like dealing with that with that nose, you know. But like I said, bro, once the fucking five was starting, I'm telling you, I had pushed everything behind. I'd put everything behind me. I was ready to go. And he knows that, too. He literally said it on y'all's live stream. He thought the doctor was coming in to look at him. Yeah, he, he thought, yeah. Yeah. He he thought they were coming in for him because you know, I cut. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I told Joel right before we watched y'all's live streams, I happened to be at Joel's. And I told Joel right before I, we watched that, I was like, bro, I guarantee you, I remember thinking back in that moment. I thought the doctor was coming in to look at well, him. I'm just trying to figure out why the doctor even came in. Uh, Joe Solis asked him to because he he says he asked Josh, "Do you want to continue?" When uh, after the third, he asked him, and Josh didn't answer him, but he let it go. He asked him again after four, "Hey, do you want to continue?" Josh didn't answer again, so he called the doctor in. See, and I'm gonna tell you this. After I don't remember the fourth round. After the fourth, yeah. Let's see if I see that. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this. He I asked him after the third and after the fourth. I don't remember. I don't remember them, and and why would they ask that? I I won the first three rounds, yeah, you know, easy, easy. It, it, it it's just so weird, and uh, and, and it's just I don't know, bro. It's just it's weird. It's weird, because bro, I would tell you, you know, and only thing that and you know what was out of line, the doctor came up to me going into the fifth. I think Joel told me, and bro, he was screaming at me, sit down, sit down. I didn't want to sit down. I, oh, I that was another thing I wanted to ask you about. Uh, uh, Cutman Joe, after the event, said that, that you kind of waved him off. He was trying to work on you, and you, you well, wouldn't let him. Well, because my nose, I was dealing you with. The problem, yeah. Well, it's just not even it bothered me, bro. You, you, you know, you'd have to be in that position to fully understand what I'm talking for about. For sure, for sure. But that's know, why but, I'm asking but, you. Yeah, but, but it's just, bro. And this was my first time going through this, you know. So I'm literally going through this for my first time, and I'm going into my 25th minute, you know, bro. I remember going into that last round, and I was literally like. It was like by instinct, damn near. Someone got too close. I was just like, hold on. I need, I need some space to like gather myself. Like I need, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to work through this. Man, man, Joe's trying to work on his face. He's fucking slipping out. Yeah, I was like, hey, man, <laughs> let, him, let him help you. Yeah. Shit. He's like, I'm, I'm in the zone, dog. Yeah. Get the fucking ice away, dude. But like I said, bro, and then the doctor walks up to me and he's literally in my face. Sit down. Like he literally screamed at me like four times. And I told him, bro, check me here. I'm, I'm literally right in front of you. And all he did when I sat down so, was he went like this. Looked at my eyes and, and said, I'm fine. I'm like, bro, you couldn't have done that with me looking at you right here in front of you? All right, so I ha I have a, I have a question. Bro, it's, it, it's out of line, Eric. So your last two fights, you have shown, first of all, the hand improvement you showed in the game of Cario fight, holy fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of us didn't know you had that level of striking. And now you've went two fights in a row where I don't think you even faked 
a takedown. Right. Yeah. Like, like yeah. so almost no well, time on the ground. You have, you have, let's be yeah. fair. You have nasty, nasty, nasty fucking jujitsu. Yeah. And I have really nasty MMA jujitsu. So not just what is, what has made you these last two fights go? Fuck. I can just stand with these guys. Well, so I was waiting for that scissor takedown. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I can tell you now, up, up until the Macario fight, if anybody had been like, Hey, bet on this fight. I'd be like submission first round. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, and watch on, you honestly, the fuck out of you right now. On, honestly, it's like two parts. So the Macario fight, I tore my big toe off halfway off. Uh, I remember you told me that. Yeah, yeah, and that was so serious. Like, people don't even know about that, bro. That was the most serious injury I probably ever had in my life, almost. Like, my toe we're, we're doing a terrible job off. of watching along, by nah, the way. We I just, I, yeah, I, I we know. Got, I yeah, know. We, we get the gist. We've been but, there. Uh, but, but so for that fight, I couldn't <laughs> grapple literally at all. So yeah. I was like, all right, I'm standing up. I'm going to beat him where he's good at, you right. know? And I did. And... I think after that, I, I haven't, I hadn't been able to shoot takedowns confidently yeah. for a while because of my big toe, and uh, right before this fight, I pretty much had got comfortable again. But I think I just got in a one track mind, bro, and I was really thinking like that's why I said like I've given him his respect. I really did think I was gonna KO him with like one punch, one or two punches, and that's why I'm not using my grappling. That's why I'm not moving as much as I as I do. I'm just I'm like expecting yeah. to hit him and him go go out. You know? shout, shout out to your boy Karan. Karan Ricci, you've always had elite striking. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's my boy. He literally, uh, he literally, uh, me talking about having a busted nose. He actually made my uh, busted my nose a little bit right before uh, the that's fight. Hilarious. But it wasn't. It, it didn't have nothing to do uh, with the fight. It was, it was Karan's uh, fault. Nah, 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 Damn, nah, 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 Karan nah, nah. Reed. Nah, 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 Damn nah. it, that guy. We were just getting it in, and it was a little. But and honestly. I'm glad that that happened so that I had some kind of experience going into yeah. that fight with having kind of a, a, you know, a hurt nose. You know, I know, you know, one of the first things you said, you said down at the table, you know, we had your, we had your topology pulled up and you're like, ah, fucking like, you don't want to see that record. It, it bro, disgusts Man, me, bro. It, it may disgust you, but I, I hope as you like look forward with, with your career, you realize that a couple of things right now, one. As a coach, if I'm trying to now game plan for you, I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. To be fair, I, yeah. I really I really don't. I look at your first few fights and these last two, it's two completely different fighters, so you don't know what you're gonna get. So you've already become a much more dangerous version of yourself than you've ever been. Yeah. Yeah. And I do think these last two fights, you've had fucking dog fights. Like They're wars. Both, both and so them. as you and they move, shouldn't have been though. As you move forward in your career, man, whether they should have been or not, yeah. you've had those moments already. Yeah. Like, I, I I feel bad for the next person you have to fight. Because, uh, like, I, again, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. I'd be like, well, I don't know well, what he's going to do. You might rip why, your fucking ankle. Yeah. And, and that's know. why I knew exactly what he was going to do. Because I just knew. I'm like, bro, grappling with me is crazy. And sta striking with me on the outside is, is not going to work for you. You know, I knew that his area was to be what he was doing, you know. Yeah. And he was doing a good job with it. He was doing a good job with it. I've, I've never said, yeah. I never, I never was like talking shit. I'm still controlling these first three rounds. You know, in this, in, in this third round, this is, I do think you, you came forward more than th this yeah. third round yeah. and kind of keeping him on his back foot a, a little bit more. For sure. And, and you got to remember, bro, I'm already dealing with the nose here. The yeah. nose is already, I'm already, ca I can't breathe right there. Yeah. You know? Ooh, nasty. Oh, which none of us know live in yeah. real time. Yeah, for sure. So, what are you looking at? Uh, when, when are we looking at you want, wanting to return, getting all healed up? Like, so, I know, I know your first instinct is fuck, put me in there tomorrow. Yeah, he's yeah, like, he's like, ready to go on this next challenger series. Well, so, <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking. I think that this needs to be run back. First off, I think that it's. But look, look, look. I think it's. Look, speak look, on that, Eric look, Garcia. Let me, let me speak on it real quick. Go ahead. This could be Fury's biggest fight ever because I could guarantee you I could get between twenty and twenty five thousand dollars worth of tickets sold. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. Especially we go to Galveston. As well after this, bro, he could have his whole people that more people are gonna pull up now after that. You know? This could be Fury's biggest fight ever. He's running from it. He don't wanna open I could show you the DMs, he don't wanna mess with me back. His daddy done talk so much shit. He done cashed so many checks that I know his ass do not want to. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. He done talk so. Bro, I would never say the things that his daddy done said, bro. And they tried to say. N and none of us would probably say a lot of those they things. They tried to say that we're ghetto. I'm yeah, like. you got to come here. <laughs> nah, but you, if you want to be in your son's career, though, bro, you have to be a little bit more professional at this level, though, bro. You're right. Get in yeah, right. Get in right. right. I, I, I don't. Race, you're wrong. I don't talk disagree. Like, yeah, you're you're not wrong. Like like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't see that. He's talking about race? He's white people or what? There's been instances where Aswell Jr. did reach out to me and say, hey, 
don't deal with my dad no more. I'm handling my own stuff and from see, now on. This, so he understands. And I this mean, is what and this is how I feel this about stuff it. Is out of line. Aswell ain't even been disrespectful. That's the thing yeah. about this. That's Junior crazy. Junior yes. Junior's a very respectful yeah. fighter. Yeah. Well, he Shout knows, out to our ring girl bro, Amanda. Me and him both know. Live. There can be any there can be any outside opinions. Me and him both know what was going on in there. Right. And he knows. He's been respectful. I ain't heard him say nothing. He ain't helping my DMs. He ain't wanted no interaction with me. He's just kind of trying to blast yeah, me. Yeah, he just wants to He wants on. to roll he's, off. He's ready to move on, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you but this. I think that's a sign of the fighter he is, and I'm telling you, we'll see where your career goes running from that because I'll, I'm rightful to run that back. I 1,000% value you as a fighter, your opinion as being, like, uh, how I see you as a fellow black belt in our, in our affiliation. Like... I'll tell you this, for right, your career, for what, round three for here, his I think. career, and for Fury, while, yeah, that's a fight that you're right. Y'all, y'all get sell any fucking oh, arena where we, we put you guys in. But your people it are going to show up no matter what, though, whether it's it him or It makes more else. sense yeah. for us to get you where you're going than to worry about what's already went by. Yeah, my like, goal, my our, goal, our job, our job is, is to get you to the UFC. Three wins. I get that's it. it. Boom, boom, boom. Now, look, let me, let me, let me come at another angle real quick while we're talking about this. Yeah, okay. As well, pressing so, forward, doing some, uh, this is a, he's this, landing some shots seriously yeah, here right here. Shortly after this. Yeah. Yeah, and these are, he, like he I takes said, a these lot are, of damage right here, but these, then this is, these this, are the elbows coming up soon. This is kind of the exchange I wanted to talk about. Go ahead. What you were trying to say? Somebody didn't even cut you off. We got excited, man. It was an awesome fight. What is a watch along? That's 30 seconds into the fourth. Yeah. And like I, I said, right now here we are right, right back against right, the cage right. and Aslan oh, and Shots. And there's the elbow and here's the second oh. one. And this is... And, and see, he's so lucky and punched there. I just, I was making... That was my question. I was like, in my head screaming, why are you not throwing hammer fists, pounding him, you know, throwing those shots? I was trying to breathe, bro. I, I remember trying to grab him and I just yeah. wanted to get... When I grabbed so that, you, I even you, rushed that. I just grabbed it and squeezed. Well, well even this even this submission, dude, this pressure against the side, that fucking hurts. Yeah, yeah. Squeeze right yeah. there. No, but, but, but I'm saying, you know, that submission, I should have grabbed it. you're going to end up with his back right here. I should have been there. I should have squeezed down. I should have lowered. I was just rushing, bro, with my nose. And, and as we look, I, I you've got his back. To breathe. And, and, and he said he was a blue belt. You're a, a black belt with his back, and he's only a blue belt. Why didn't you finish him there? Uh, I mean, it's a fight. Congrats. Yeah, I don't know. You're I mean, just, I mean I'm dominating. And there it is. There it is yeah, again. You got his back I'm again. Dominating. I don't know. I'm dominating. He gets up, but I mean, he's, he's, like he's, I said, bro, he's controlling you, the wrist there, and he's working his much, way out. I would be in a much better um, shape here if my nose. I'm t- I remember being right there, seeing nose fall out of my blood when I was on top of him, and I was just like trying my best. I to, mean, like, I gotta give I gotta give Aswell credit in this situation to 100%, survive. Hundred percent. Yeah. Because 100%. because just this like yourself, spot. y'all are both fucking tired. Yeah. But th- this was where he was most I've, vulnerable. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen somebody get up from you. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I don't, I don't no, know if that's you're right. happened. No, you're right. Like, no, you, you are right. You are right. This is where you had Frank Mano. Oh. Uh, he triangled Mano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. he triangled and rolled but see, him look, on top. Yeah. But see, like I said, this is the difference, bro, with here in the Mano fight. I'm, I'm looking to kill Frank. Right here, I'm looking to breathe. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally on top, blood coming mm. out of my nose, and I'm like, this I'm trying to find my breathing spots. You, you know, and then I'm hoping... I get a Ooh, wrist. I can, I can ground him. Rich and we're master so here too. We're master the of the howler weight division. <laughs> and see, this is one of those rounds that I mean, you, you, you could almost score it either way because well, that's, that's how I feel about you. It. You, like, you dropped him. You, you have him on the ground. Him, you have his I back. Him, I had him controlled for two minutes. You but know then, I mean? I, but then I feel like here he's back on his feet. This yeah. is where he wants it. He starts throwing shots. This you're is, throwing back. Yeah, this is definitely his best but, moment of the fight. But as we get to the end of the round, here's your mouthpiece. Thank you, Joe. See, and you can see my nose is red, bro. <laughs> like I'm. You, you well, can, I'm looking at the back of your head. I can't see it right now, but I don't doubt what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. I mean. You, you told us your, your nose was a problem for you, you know, being able to breathe. Oh, see right there, you hit it again. Because they were landing, you know, um, I, I, we're, yeah. we're listening to the commentators. You know, he, he got a little overzealous in those exchanges because they, he, he was landing and it looked, it, yeah. it, it live, it probably felt like he had you. And then he dropped him with those no, elbows. That's what I say though. It, it, he never hit me where I, I felt like I, like I was hurt or anything. Well, I don't just, know. Uh, we're gonna see here at the end of the fourth round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, can, uh, you well, can watch me sit down though. That's I've, I, I've watched Charles Oliveira pull 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 guard two times against Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier in the first and second round. But doing yeah. that, you and when in your mind you 
So hey bro, I already got the first three rounds. Easy. Gonna... It, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about that. I, especially at this point, it was just my nose that I was Did in, you in my the hallway. Head. Yeah. <laughs> but, bro, even at the end of this round, I remember hearing the 10 second bell. And when he came forward on me, bro, I literally sat down and threw an up kick. I, I knew that the round was over. I was I was buying. The All right, time so so you you knew you felt the round was over. You made it out. You didn't think, oh shit, the fight might be over. No, no, not at all. Not okay, at that all. was one of the things not that I heard. No, not at all. Like I said, bro, I'm dealing with my nose here, and when I sit down, that that's the difference in this round too. Is I sat him down. He, I, I sat down myself. You you can see it on the video. Well, I mean, he lands a couple of shots no, 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 to, he, that he, convince he, you to sit. That's no, not a good look for the judge. No, yeah, I mean, no, as, judge in, as a judge in real time, that's you can't so decide you know, to sit down when you're getting you're hit saying. in the face. Yeah, and, and, but a and, judge and, don't know shit and, about fighting. And don't fighting. get me wrong, I'm not making an excuse about uh, it. I don't, I don't know. know about that, Eric. I don't know about that. Well, about some of the stuff. See, here we go. Here we go. But see, look. You took two shots. Okay, and look right there. Only and right here, look, you know, look, you're the, the the hammer fists, you know, yeah, get, one of them lands out of the three, yeah, but, but look, that's it, just a bad see, look. It, it I'm looks not, like he catches you, and you go down, and you I start think, covering. I, yeah, I'm, not disagree, I'm not disagreeing with you, but look, I even went like this because I knew the timer, where's the bell at? Like, And I'm like a real pro. I bought time to survive so I could get my minute of rest. I, I did exactly what I needed to do in that. I, I, I don't, I'm not defending sitting down. I do not ever want to do that, bro. It but sucks. that's what I had to do it's, in that the moment. That was a bad look it's, in the judge's eyes. Agree. It, it Agree. Sucks, Agree. On, it sucks on this end too because if you flip those sequences, Ooh, there's that one, and then boom, there's another you one. Sitting down earlier happens at the beginning of the round, exactly. And then this happens at exactly. the end. Then they, they, exactly. They, exactly. It, it's just and, optics. And and. And that's why I've said, bro, if you want to give him that round, that's that's perfectly fine with me. It's still 3-1. If you don't want to give me 3-1, it's 2-2. Two, two. He obviously feels different. It's 2-2. Two, two, that's fine. I don't care. Give him 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. But, brother, where's the fifth? There, there, there was the one fifth? judge that had a 4-0. I, I, I was a little little fights all week, bro, perplexed by that. And getting dropped so here we and got hurt. I, I feel like judges. Ryan Thompson so had his score most in. accurately. He's already been in to see you. Yeah, he's already been in to see me. No, 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 not yet. Pacing back and forth. Not right? yet. He's I'm pacing walking, back and forth. I'm walking before he now, is. The doctor was in the cage Look at during me. the round. I'm literally not in that. See, he asked, he asked Aswell, are you good? you want to continue? Look, and then look. He comes over to me. Watch my head when he comes over to me or when they're going to. He didn't come over to me. Well, he must, he, he must have already did it. He clearly no, he's no, going to check with you. No, I've watched this a million times. No. Look, watch my head right here. I literally look at Aswell because I think the dark's coming here. Watch me not again at him. Watch my head. Right here. Right here. And then he comes up to so, me and he asks me, can you squat? And I'm like, squat? He said, you can't squat. We're stopping the fight. And I'm not, bro, I'm so, not so, even So listening. squat some more? <laughs> Shit, brother. <laughs> like I said, you gotta, you, you'd have to be in that moment. Bro. Yeah, no, no, Telling for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm bullshitting, man. The 25th minute of a fight, bro, is crazy to me, bro. You, you took, I okay, we, we can see your energy. face up close. You, you took some damage, but your eyes weren't swollen shut. The last thing you checked was your eyes. He's like well, flashing really a light. Believe, I really your believe, vision wasn't I, impaired at all. No, I really believe. If you ask Dr. Guerrero right now why he stopped that fight, he won't even know. He won't bro. know if. And I just stood. Bro, he won't even. That's remember. the issue that Did I have notice? with that I man. I just stood there. I just stood there for like three minutes after this. This isn't the first like, fight he's ever stopped of ours, but it's probably the most high-profile fight that he's stopped. Yeah. And we always tell these guys, man, their careers on the line at this point. You yeah. Can't tell the referees you gotta let. That was an amateur. That was that was an amateur stoppage. Stop. I many, felt like he robbed us all, including Josh, especially of the so fifth and worse. final round. I had one bad moment, bro. I've seen fights where guys have three to five bad moments. And I agree still, with Rich on that on that round though. Like, had you sat down at the beginning of the round, yeah. and then the round ended with you on Aswell's back, yeah. it would have been a whole yeah. different thing. Yeah. And, and, and it's always better to finish a round strong to win that round. And I understand that. That's what I said. I've had no... <laughs> I've had no argument, no debate about. I've given him his respect in the in the moments he had, you know. It's, but yeah, I, it's that's, that, yeah. Because I was just letting and you. He was Joe, Joe Solis said and, that and he you, asked you, Josh, "Do you want to continue? Do you want to fight?" And didn't he didn't answer him. I care yeah, more about I, the thing that bothers I, me the that most about was this in my face, so. is we we just let you guys beat the shit out of each other for twenty minutes. You deserve those last five. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. both, you're you both see him standing? and Jeremy right here going. Yeah. yeah. And if I'm Jerry Mahone, I'm pissed off too. Well, the thing is, is that the doctor was pissed, in too, the so. in the cage after the fourth, after the third round, yeah. after the fourth round. So he was already in there. 
Yeah, and, no, and, and I kind of remember Jeremy to. saying something about, you know, look at the cut over his eye. You could have stopped it for that, but you didn't, or something Jacob along those Silver, lines. Jacob Silva saying, bring Joe on the podcast. No, he won't come on. We're not going to do that. Hey, bro, this is the thing. Hey, I, bet, I bet Joe would. I'll bet Joe would. Joe would. Joe would come out. We and, should. We should I'm, bring him on next week. I'm sure he would Let's have call him up. a way of defending what happened. But again, that doesn't mean that, like. But here we go again, look, man. Look, you know, bro, this is what you got to understand. You got a one-eyed doctor checking Josh Altham's vision. And this and this what you got to. the blink like, and that's what you got to understand. Goddamn, like, pal. Look at my eye. Look at my eye, dog. <laughs> that's what you got to understand, bro. Like, from my perspective, I'm the actual fighter. Yeah. Bro, when I'm in there, I'm cold going See, to that fifth I, round, bro. I get, like, I get Josh's in, point right there. Nothing in life matters no more. My pain doesn't matter. I've put everything behind me. And all I need you to ask me, bro, is do I need to fight? I would have easily nodded my head and said, yes, this nigga asked me to squat, bro. Hey, watch watch, watch the M-bomb, yeah. pal. <laughs> don't, don't get us canceled. You, 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 you can talk that's like that home. with Shaquem off camera, but... Me. Hey, hang look, on. I'll be canceled for that one day. Watch. Hang on. Hey, listen, uh, that in bomb was dropped to you by the Fury like Unleashed podcast. Please, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Uh, uh, but approve. Uh, I don't know. Is man. It approved? I don't know that way. Man. It's, just, it's just, bro, I've never seen the fi fights dealt like the, dealt with that way. And it just happens to be me. It happens to be a, a ref. I don't, it just happened to be a whole weird situation, bro. And the, the doctor scream at me to sit down. I've never seen a doctor scream at a fighter to sit down. And I've never seen a doctor tell a fighter to adjust. Just how he's how he's positioned in the corner for them to check him. The fighter should be able to lounge. I should be able to lay the fuck down. Be to the fighters I, I should be able is, to that a, is that a thing in boxing? Like where they ask, like if a fighter's in trouble, they, they ask him to squat or something. I mean, that, uh, it strikes me as I've something that this first for me. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen, that. seen it either. That's why I'm asking. I mean, I've never, never seen that. And I'm a fight fan, bro. I watch fights all the time. I've, well, I've I mean, never I've seen that. I've done shows since 2010. This is what you do. 14 years, and I've never seen a doctor go inside. And we and talked about that somebody. live. I remember you said yeah. that live. And I've never seen like, it. Like, bro, the energy that I'm using for this squat could be for a punch, could be for this, could be for that. And, and, and you're asking me to do something so dumb. And you, and like I said, bro, I was confused. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was literally confused, bro. Like I said, you're talking to someone who's in a cold mindset, ready to go out there and risk my <laughs> life or take this guy's in a, in a fifth round fight. Hey, what, what you got, Rich? Me dumb Rich shit on like the Instagram that, live. Hey, what you shout got? Out, <laughs> shout out to a BT. <clears throat> BT said, damn, I'm not during Black History Month. And uh, Jacob Silva said he's part, you're part black. Yeah, hey. <laughs> on, on day that's one of bad, Black History Month, Josh hey, Altham dropping the end bomb. That's, that's my bad. That's just how I talk at home, and I was just getting, <laughs> I, you know. And so that's what, that's what he calls. I got, my, I got that's I got what he my calls mom. Right here. Real quick. Oh yeah, I got my boy Shaquem right here. Hey, real quick. Shaquem, hey, Shaquem, hey, Shaquem did, did you give him a pass to say that? Hey, we got space to make it work, man. Hey, wait, we just need to make sure. Hey, hey, I'm clear, man. TMF champ, are you clearing that one? All right. All right. I'm I'm clear. Clear. I'm All right. Clear. You heard it from the man himself. I'm clear. Listen, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but at the same time you said that, uh, I'm not going to say it, but this guy joined. <laughs> da -da -da. Okay, that's the law of attraction right there. <laughs> So, all right, so NWA look, so minus the W. Let me let me just get to this next <laughs> angle real quick before I just don't don't get to it real quick. So another reason, bro, that I'm looking at this fight, and if if we pass on this, it is what it is. I'm I'm you know I, I'm gonna have to do what do what I gotta do. Where are you going, going Shaquem? You dipping? You bouncing? But, uh, you leaving? All right. But uh, bro, because so, so, I've got a point to make. I don't wait till you come back though. After the fight, right when the doctor calls it. First off, As was jumping around like this, you know, like he just won a title. And then I'm not even going to get too deep into it, but bro, our tennis young comes in there and he's like flexed up. And he's like talking all that shit, talking all that shit, bro. Y'all talking about what? Well, hold on, hold on. But what, what, y'all talking about an Instagram post that I made, a caption? Y'all talking about one caption? I've never. What, what caption was it? It was. For, for context. I think it was make him a son it was, it was, like I was going to make him, I, I said, I'm excited to be a dad. That's what I said. I'm excited <laughs> to be a dad. That's good marketing. <laughs> thank you, though. But thank you. That's, but see, no, but y'all already get it. Y'all already get it. I mean, y'all yeah. already get it. Hey, guess what? Daddy don't move tickets for me, buddy. I got to post. I have to promote. I got to do the actual fight shit. I got to move the, I move these tickets independently. You know, I have to post something. When our tennis and them were acting like I was talking shit, I literally walked up to him and I said, hey, we know each other. What are you talking about? I have I have respect for y'all. I would never say nothing too disrespect. I actually know y'all. Like, right. and they were in there jumping around, flexed up, acting like I was a fucking Look, bro. You think? Hold on, but you think I, I was talking shit then? I'm talking shit now. As well, you're a fucking pussy if you run from this, and if you do, if, if Eric decides to offer it to you, and you take it, that'll be the side of, of the kind of fighter you are. But if you don't, I need a tune-up fight. 
I've only taken serious fights. I need a tune-up fight. I, I want to fight Frank Gallegos. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Let me tell you. No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Is he active? Is he active? No, listen to me. Yeah, he's like 0-3 oh, as an amateur. Is, is, he, is, he, is he active? Listen so, to me. You said, you said serious fight. Why would you want an 0-3 amateur? He said a tune-up fight. Okay, okay. All right. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm trying to fire him up more. No, I don't need no more, bro. This Tyler here got me. I'm sorry. Listen to me. Listen to me. Go ahead. So when I walk up to our tennis and told him, hey, we know each other. Like, I, I, I haven't said nothing about y'all. I haven't. Done, he tried to say that it was my boys or something. I'm like, bro, this whole crowd's booming and talking shit. That don't that doesn't that don't make it right. And, bro, if my coaches, you could talk the most amount of shit to us, bro. My coaches, Richard, Jeremy, Joel, bro, they're going to get in there respect for every motherfucking time, bro. They're going to get in there. They're going to show you respect. They're not going to jump around the ring and act like that, especially on a bullshit stoppage like that. But. Our tennis comes up to me and tries to, like, shake my hand or something. And I was like, man, I could really give a fuck at this point. Like, y'all are just acting like we were beefed up. And then Frank Gallegos walks to me, Eric, and told me, the fuck you going to do? He walked up oh. on me like this. Look, Eric, look, look, look. He walked up on me just like this. We need your microphone. He walked up on me. He, he, don't hear he, he, hear he walked up on me just like this and said, the fuck you going to do? Look, and look, walked up on me like this, Eric, and look, I looked at Did him. Did y'all like, see that? I, I, I asked Joel. Hey, I, 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 saw, I saw a lot of people walk up to him face-to-face -face like asked that. Frank Joel, may have been one of them, but I, Joel, I saw a lot of face-to-face. I've seen, -face. seen it with my eyes, bro. Ask Joel and Jeremy about it, and I'm sitting there, Eric. You got to understand, I'm supposed to be fighting. The energy that y'all are bringing to me and the, and the things, the conversations we're having— all of this could be for my fifth round. And right. and y'all yeah. brought this energy to me. But, bro, I literally thought about decking him straight in his jaw right there when he said that. And obviously, you know, I would have been the one to get in trouble. And you yeah. know that I wasn't in the wrong there, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't in the wrong suspended, there. They would have suspended so, so Josh Altum. And let, what happens to anybody else from that corner? Probably nothing. Right. Is it ever okay to come and get stiff with a fighter after they've just fought? Three rounds, five rounds, it don't matter. It's never okay, bro. You have to wait till after. Yeah, be go respectful. Go to the press Brian. conference or yeah. go after. And y'all can have y'all's dispute. Y'all can have y'all's shit talk. To come and charge and get stiff on somebody in while the they're cage. literally in the cage. They're still sweating. They're still bleeding. Bro, you're a fucking pussy. You would never do that to me if I wasn't in that vulnerable moment. You hear I was that, in Frank? A, uh, no, I'm, I'm being dead serious, bro. You Frank Gallegos. Yes. You are we coming amateur. for you. You are 0-3 amateur talking to me like that, bro. I will embarrass you. I will humiliate you. And I'm serious, Eric. If as well, if y'all don't want to go that route, that's okay with me. That that's that's I, he don't want it anyways. I know he don't. He uh, it's, it, but listen, look, but look, I want you to send a contract to Frank and them. I'm telling you, I need one tune-up fight. Frank's not gonna fight. Hey, I, so, I know so he's BT, not, but I want to humiliate BT him. BT from four rounds is, is saying he goes, hey, he came in to shake your hand. He said, if you go back and watch the video, his hand was out to shake. But you're saying something. You said nah. he, he said words to you. He literally, bro. He looked me dead in the eye like this. Burmash said, the fuck you gonna do. Bro, I did or said nothing to deserve or get a response like that from you, and I just fought your fighter. Like I told you, my corners, bro, they will show you respect. Don't matter if you talk shit. It don't matter if you were talking about our families. Bro, we wouldn't do that, bro. It's a respect yeah. thing. This is war. Yeah. And but and that's all in and I don't mean war in my gym. I'm talking about war in general. Right. And that activity, that's 0 and 3 amateur activity. That's uh, that that's you don't know shit about this lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And I would love to hum humiliate you. I would love to make a a, a a show out of you, like for doing that. You said the fuck you want to do. This is what I'll do about it. I could obviously beat your ass outside anywhere, but I will literally humiliate you publicly. He he asked you what you want to do about it, and you're letting him know right that now. This okay. this is what you'd like to do about it. I don't give a fuck if you're at that gym. How would you support anything like that? I'm telling you right now, it is out of line if you ever approach a fighter on any kind of... I don't even care if y'all have beef. Give him the respect to let him get out of the cage. Let him see what injuries are going on. Let him sit, let the adrenaline go down. Do what you do after that. But it's disrespectful as fuck to get stiff on any fucking fighter, bro. Win or loss right after their fight. And I think that's just, that's just law. That's just, that's just the I code. I can see how they feel the same way if it happened, right? I mean, yeah. anybody, sure. yeah, anybody, anybody got in somebody's yeah, face. Oh yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Look, and not anybody play, would. And not I didn't see. I didn't see it. I don't. I know y'all did. That's I, why I, 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 I saw. And I, and I wouldn't make this up, bro. So I, I saw Chico and, and him kind of going at it a little bit. I, I saw that whenever I walked in the cage. And see me and Chico. It wasn't even nothing like was he was different. talking about. It was. Yeah. I just walked up to Chico, and maybe Chico was just excited. I don't know. I don't know. But he was just acting like I was talking all this shit, and I just walked up to him. I told, Hey, bro, we don't. We know each other. Aswell's yeah. done one camp with y'all. I've yeah. known you for 10 years. You know, maybe he'll tell you different. I've known him 10 years. 
What are you talking about? I have respect for y'all. I've never talked so, down on y'all's gym. So, I've never so, said. So Frank just joined, and this is the, from his side. And hey, shout out Ricardo Evangelista just joined too. I just hopped on for a second. I literally went out with my hand nah. on his shoulder, tried to shake his hand, and said, "Bass." I'm assuming he means badass fucking fight, dude. And he fucked me off. He said, "He know you know where four ounce is. You're, he's there every day." If you well, if you, you wouldn't want me so to much. do that. If I you wouldn't want me to do that, yeah, just be no worse. Need. There's no need for that. That, that would be worse. That, yeah, that we're would, not doing that. Come on, that would literally be worse. That would literally be worse for you, Frank. It would be better for you to do it in, in a public scenario. Listen, I'm telling listen, you. Listen, we run a fucking professional organization. I know y'all do. Yeah, and, I know y'all do. and we still look at you as a prospect outside. No matter what happened in this fight, yeah. And it is our job to get guys like you to the UFC. So, so it's very important. I, the next three just, fights that I pick for yeah. you have to yeah. be fights that are going to let you, you let everybody see how talented you really fucking are. I get you. I just, I, 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 I just, just put, maybe, I'm maybe just submission this, hunter pro for, for, for just, Frank yeah, and Josh. <laughs> he'll hook Frank on sub hunter. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'll just, look, I'll just, Come home. I, I just, say, I just bring this up, bro, because this is actual, I could get up here and just say what I'm saying. I'm giving y'all actual I- inside info on some bullshit that went on, right. you know? And I'm just telling y'all this, bro, because I don't support that. I don't support that amateur that amateur level bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm just, bro, we're, we're respectful to everybody that we fight. Right. And hey, bro, I'm not trying to make an excuse for myself, but I'm the goddamn fighter, bro. I'm the one who has adrenaline in that moment. If I am a little turned up, we should always be given some kind of a, yeah. a, a, of a I leash. Agree. I can of, agree with that, yeah. Of a leash with after, that fresh after, bro. Yeah. Fresh after. If you've, if you've had a moment like that, you would understand, bro, your adrenaline's going crazy. Like, right. But I didn't say anything to you. I didn't do anything physically to you for y'all to come at me like that at all. And like I said, I would love to publicly humiliate you, but well, if you're not going to do that, that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I think he's I, saying I right now that he didn't. I understand. I understand. I wouldn't do it either. I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> I'm just telling you that that's how serious I am about this shit. Okay. And but before us, Fight Club I've, is I've over off nothing, of Jones Road. Don't I've go gave, there. I've gave nothing but Aswell respect. I told Aswell that he was tougher than what. Yeah. Then, and then he what? said that. He told me that too. And and that's the thing he about said this. That y'all that's have crazy. Been very respectful. Yeah, he said, he said there was. He said there was no beef or anything. That had the issues, that's bro. why I literally wanted to say all this because, bro, with me and him, it's just been a competitive respect. It's been a competitive. Yeah. And I think he's still there. He still doesn't have shit to talk or nothing. Have I said anything about him? No. I don't have nothing to. T- I've just talked about the fight. That's I just it, talked yeah. about what happened on video, but I haven't said one bad thing about him, bro. You right. call somebody the end bomb, but you know that's yeah, another, that's another call, thing. Yeah, I, don't know. I would call. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm I call kidding. my mom that. Uh, you know, uh, like, <laughs> you know, these are inside. Hey, mama, <laughs> happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, they gonna have to cut that one, man. Hey, Diego doesn't cut shit out. Just nope. so you know, <laughs> I, I just, I, I just, you know, I'm not. I didn't want to get too crazy about this situation. It's just you gotta understand. I had to. And and the way I took this, bro, yeah. I get I shook Oswald's hand in there, bro. I went home, I sat silently, I went to sleep silently, I woke up silently, I watched the fight the first time. It literally changed my whole perspective. I wait till later that day. I watched the fight again and I'm like oh, I won all was, four rounds. Oh, this is and I I I still I could I say three one. That's that's just me. I landed more punches, I, I damaged the body and the legs. He hit me with jabs. It's just that's just the facts. It's on video, you know? Yeah. And I just know that I wasn't. It, this was the best way I can say is this was mishandled by the officials that night. You know, it was just mishandled. Everyone it's not makes the mistakes. First time we've yeah. seen shit. Like e- that, everyone though. makes even mis- in the UFC. Everyone makes level. mistakes. It happens. Everyone yeah. makes mistakes, yeah. and I can tell you that this was just a mistake made because, bro, watch the video. I'm there. So, <laughs> so no matter no matter what, like, when are we looking at you? getting back. Like, I wanted to be Frank up like late February or March. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as Aswell just, wants to go to Galveston, we'll just, he's ready to fight again. Well, just because, well, just because uh, I do, I wanted to do that just because I was like, I'll fight his little chubby ass at 55 or 160, you know, because he's not cutting to 45. So I could just do that for fun real quick. You know what I mean? That that could just be me cleaning my record up. Hey, maybe, maybe we do yeah, a Fury, well, Frank, a Fury Frank charity not series. anymore. Frank coaches. He's got a good thing going over there with his team and stuff, and he works for another promotion doing other stuff. I'm sure. So the Frank is not going to fight. Uh, yeah, I know. But I know. we're going to. But I had to do that. Frank, Frank did, Frank did say pull up the four ounce. So. Yeah, well, you're not going to pull. Don't pull that's up the four ounce. That's not a good ounce. idea. Yeah, don't do that's that. That's not a good idea. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's either. the thing. Like, I haven't downed none of them. I haven't talked to bro. Shots, Daniel's Emily, there. The, they got other guys. Bro, Chico, I, I, I just said I have respect for all these guys. And the, the way they were acting like I'm just this kid talking shit. Bro, I'm a fucking young kid trying to make it in this shit, just like y'all are. And yeah. like I said, daddy don't move tickets for me. 
I got to do all this shit myself. You do a good job too. Yeah, thank you. man. Thank yeah, you. you. Do I appreciate a damn good that. Job selling that shit, man. And, yeah, and, and y'all got y'all are doing y'all's fucking thing too, you know. Yeah, and I, and I, crowd, I just man. it just sucks that the event ended how it, it just sucks it went how it went. That's the truest statement you made. Everybody got robbed of that fifth yeah. and final round, man. But his comeback is gonna be better. Oh yeah, like. But you just gotta. Got there's it, bro, more bangers to it's come so, for Josh it's also. So, it's so soul burning, bro. I'm telling you, you go home and you're just like. It sucks man, to be on the, the wrong end of a stoppage for like sure. that yeah, because sure, you, you still. I'm sure you still have so much left in the tank. Feels, exactly. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, you got to respect that, you know. But at, like I said, it's. Mine and Rich's job now moving forward to get his ass back in the win column and let people see how talented he fucking is and hopes that in the next three fights. But you know me, though. Contender series and you know me, though, bro. It ain't, it ain't even been about just trying to get, get me wins. You know, I've no, taken all. Taken every fight. But you, I've taken every yeah, fight. You never asked for a Like I fight. said, the, the two fights that I lost before this one, and I, don't, I ain't even talking about this one like that. Bro, it was a main event in New Mexico. I was 3 0 against a guy 6 0. The followed, whole situation and then was, was a fucking stud. And then a root. He went bro, to PFL. A, a champion yeah. kickbox from Armenia. He used to fight at Welterweight. I don't know if you know that. He used to fight at 170. Dude. He had a belt at 165 in kickboxing. Like, those are my two losses, bro. You know what I mean? And those are fights that none of these guys would have taken. Up. None of them. I know that for a fact. You know? So I just, I'm, I'm holding on to the fact I know I've taken a harder road than a lot of these guys. But I know, even watching the fight with Aswell, I'm like, everything is there. I just need to use everything in the correct space, you know? And I, I was just too one-minded one, one uh, minded that night. Whoa. I was just looking for that one punch, you know what I mean? I, I can tell you from us, as Eric said, we are always excited to have you on a card. Yeah, there's we, never going to be a boring fight yeah, that man, you're we in. We always look forward to, to a Josh Altum fight. I mean, I'm, I'm one, thankful you came on the show today just to give your side, man. Yeah. We want, we, we want I appreciate sure, y'all having me, of course, for real. Of course, we, we want to make sure that... that you know, he had his moment. We want to give you your moment as well yeah, because no you, you deserve that. You know, we, we all agree that you guys were robbed of of a fifth round. No matter who you believe. Exactly. However side, you think the cards were scored whatever or whatever, we can all agree that we were robbed of that fifth we, and final we round. Of a fifth it's round, truly determined. It was deserved. It was earned Thank by, by both yeah. of you guys. I appreciate you saying that. I'm sorry that that, that that was taken away, but I'm, I'm super glad you, you're able to come on here, express your thoughts and feelings, man. And I'm super excited to see you in your next fight. And I'm sure we'll be able to announce that very soon. And it, it, it won't be Frank. But we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll make something Machine else Machine Gun Young. Hey, guys, don't forget, this weekend, the TMF champ returns Shaquem to the Shaquem Richardson, baby. Number 11. Uh, we've got an amazing card. Yadier, say it. You say it. Yadier de Valle, the yeah. Cuban problem. That you could call him that, there. too. That shit over there. He Tell just him where to find you on, on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, my Instagram is superglue awesome. Super Every, glue. Mm -hmm. Everything's pretty much super glue awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't never going to let that down. He ain't never going to let that down. He's the one that's going to get me in trouble hey, for guys, it. Hey, guys, it's been awesome to have you on the card. Shaquem, thanks for stopping in today. Josh, thanks you for being here. Appreciate say what you got to say. Wayne, let's do it, baby. Let's go home, fellas. The time for talk is over. This has been Fury. Unleashed. Why would I look at the red light? I don't know. God don't damn, know. pal. I got two minutes to get on the meeting. <laughs> and now Houston, Texas makes some noise because the time for talk is over. It's time to 